Hello everyone. Welcome to module 23, how to specify datum. We have learned the datum reference frame and feature control frame. In this module, we are going to learn how to specify the datum properly. Before we mention that, we know we can use any letter of the alphabet to specify the datum except the three. I O, Q shouldn't be used as a data letters. How to specify the data properly is very important. This is going to tell the joint user which feature should be the data without mis misunderstanding. There's a couple of ways for us to specify the data properly first we can specify the datum letter directly to the surface of the feature. Here means the bottom surface is datum A. Next, we can specify the datum letter to the extension line from the datum feature. This datum is still the bottom surface. And we have learned how to find this datum simulator from datum feature. If the datum A is put along the extension of dimension line, here is dimension line, the datum A is the axis of the cylinder. Same thing for here, if this is a hole, that means datum A is the axis of this hole. But how could we find this datum A? How could we find this axis from actual parts? Again, we need to use ME again. Here, this is the actual parts. We need to find the axis to be a datum A. You need to find the ME, which is unrelated to datum. This is a single feature. This is the ME. The datum A is the axis of the ME. Or oh, this ME is the datum simulator you're going to use. Same thing for the hole. If the datum feature is a hole, the ME is the inner boundary. Or oh, you can regard it as an expanding pin. The maximum inscribed cylinder to be the ME. The axis of this ME is your datum A. If this is a plate, it's not a cylinder. You see here, it's a plate. The datum A, you put it here. Since it's not a cylinder, the datum A is the ME of a plate. You got to get ME, you insert a block, expanding block inside the center plane of this datum simulator is your datum A. If datum A is external feature of size here, how to find this center plane? Again, ME is outside boundary here, you're going to use ME to get the center plane of this datum A. We have learned to specify the datum directly to the feature, to the, to the surface, or to the extension line. Here, we could also specify the datum later under the feature control frame here, or even top, that's fine. That means the tolerance of the feature pointed by this feature control frame is your datum A. The tail is the same thing. This datum A is the datum feature here. And this is the proper way to specify the datum. Because for any datum feature, 
does measure is primary data or secondary data or tertiary data should always have a either form or orientation or location tolerance. We should specify the geometric tolerance of the datum feature first. And then we're going to use this as a datum. These two joints has the same meaning. Datum A is the bottom surface. Datum symbol should never be applied to the center line or axis. Especially, there's a multiple way to establish this center line. Here, this datum B is a center line. How could we get this center line? From actual parts, there's a multiple ways. First, we could use these two holes to get datum B. Or we could use these two holes to get datum B. And we don't know which way is correct. From the join, we don't know this center line where it come from. This is why we shouldn't use this method to specify the datum. We should specify the datum directly to the feature, such as here, datum B is this hole, datum C is this hole. Or we should specify the geometric tolerance first. Here, datum A, there's a flatness. We put datum A here. Datum B is supposed to have a orientation tolerance to A. We put datum B here. Datum C, we're going to have a position tolerance to A and B. Then we put datum C here. This is the proper way to specify the datum. Let's have a quick review about this module. In this module, we have learned how to specify the datum properly. properly and the key is should always specify which feature we can get this datum. This is the most important. And never apply the datum symbol directly to the center line or axis. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next module.